Hello, W4UYE here from SASQ, and today I'm going to show you how to update the firmware on your Lab 599 TX500. This process is detailed on page 25 of the Lab 599 TX500 manual. Connect power to the TX500, but leave the radio powered off for now. Connect the data cable that came with your TX500 to the cap port on the right side of the unit. Connect the other end of the data cable into the computer. So if you go to lab599.com, and you look up in the upper right hand side, you'll see a tab that says downloads. We're going to click that. Right here you have your software. Be sure that you download the correct one for your operating system. In my case, it's the Windows 64 version. I'm going to go ahead and download that one. And then I'm going to go down here to firmware and I'm going to go ahead and download that one. So when we look in my, and I've already downloaded it before, that's why it's there twice. But if you look right here, I've got the update firmware, that's the application, and I have the current firmware version here. If we go to where we've downloaded the firmware and we click that application there, double click the application, and this is going to open up right here. It says update firmware 1.0. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to go and we're going to pick that firmware that we just downloaded. So we're going to go open, we're going to go to downloads and right here you can see that uh, you have the various firmwares it's only got two it recognizes the type of file so we'll hit that and so now you got the firmware to properly power on the radio we're going to go over to the third button here you're going to press that and you're going to press the power button and if you look right now there's a little screen there that says the loader is waiting All right, if you look at the loader right here, you'll see that there's two different COM ports. Those are there because I've hooked up the radio via two different COM ports, so we don't know which one it is. So we'll try them one at a time to see if it works. If one doesn't work, just try the other one. It'll give you a fail message, and we'll try the other one. And uh, I don't know which one I'm on, so let's find out. So I've got my firmware loaded already right here. I've already opened it. Let's update. Up. Oh says device does not respond. So there, that must mean it's the other COM port. So let's try that. You see it working? So now it's updating. It's all done. So now what we're going to do is, is we're going to go ahead and we're going to click OK. When the firmware is finished uploading, the radio will give you a prompt to cycle the power. And so that's what we're going to do. If you look at the bottom, firmware 1.13.13. And that's all there is to it. Thank you for watching. This is Whiskey 4 Uniform Yankee Echo, and I'll be clear on your final.